Wide range? Your range, yeah. Yeah. Gas stove top all the way. <laughs> Corgi. Corgi. Okay, so Jessica, what's the first thing you're going to put in there? Trojan Zombies is here. Hey, Trojan Zombies. Trojan Zombies says, hey there, working chef and ice cube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, um, for those of you that just arrived, this is my sister, Ariel. She's our special guest today. She is part owner of a nonprofit music academy <laughs> <laughs> called Dishes Rock and More I should Music be, Academy. I should be paying you. <laughs> no, no. You need to carry around a sign, Ariel. Uh, Soggy Doggy. Oh, Soggy Doggy says I use gas too, but was going to say as a renovator, I like your backsplash. Thank you. Yeah, it took us <gasps> forever to, to find it out. Did somebody have to get banned? No, 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 oh. not at all. Okay. Soggy Doggy would like to take your sister out to dinner. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Soggy Doggy. She's taken. Taken. <laughs> okay. Um, Ariel, do you could you make me a cup of coffee, please? Since I'm kind of stuck over here with oh, some cream in I'm it. Sorry, I forgot I was supposed to be teaching you, Mario. <laughs> uh, oh. Well, you will. I have a nasty habit of uh, taking over <laughs> when I'm teaching people sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Chef, Chef Big Willie says, hey, Jess, sister, that's awesome. Music rules. Yeah. Yep. She's a very good musician, too. Maybe one day we'll have her uh, sing in the background. Oh, thank you, Chef Big Willie. Jess' mom is awesome, too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's very kind. Um, anyway, maybe one day, Jess, uh, Ariel, you can serenade in the background while we're cooking. Jessica's cooking. <laughs> hey, Ril, do you want to learn Jessica's how to saute? Show. Yeah. All right. Right? It's all in the wrist. So, you have your pan. You don't want to take it too far <gasps> off of the heat. Ooh, when you're we're sauteing. sauteing. When you're sauteing. And you kind of want to get your food a little bit close to the edge. And just kind of... Oh, God. <laughs> kind of do that. Okay. If anybody didn't see that, what she's doing is she's flipping. She's flipping the vegetables. Oh. Uh oh. Try not to angle it down. You're not on the the pan. Oh. Now do I do? Yes, now you are. I don't know. All right. Oh, nope. did it. Yay! You did it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is scary. That's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> Got to bring it back down onto the heat. Oh no. Cuz if the pan isn't hot enough, it'll stop uh, flipping up. Sorry about the camera, guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I need like a third camera. Yeah, totally yeah, we do. <laughs> so you don't want to bring your pan up too far off the heat or let it cool down too fast when you're sauteing because otherwise it'll just start not jumping. Like oh, it'll, really? It'll, yeah. It'll like stick or something? Yeah. It'll, oh, because it's not hot It'll enough. all stick together and then it won't really jump. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. She does that like she's done it before. It's not easy either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Should I just dump the mushrooms in there? Oh, uh, did you put the, yes, um, me. did you put the, no. uh, garlic in it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Then dump the mushrooms. All right. Go for it. Put them all. Now, so, typically when you're sauteing, you don't want to overcrowd the pan. Um, because otherwise the food won't caramelize, it'll just steam. But since we're doing a stew, that's perfectly fine. Um, and I, what I was going to say is, uh, how many mushrooms did we just put in there, Jess? We sort a of pint. A pint or eight ounces? A cup? How much was it? Mm. Eight ounces. Eight ounces of sliced mushrooms. What kind of mushrooms are they? Mushrooms. Button, <laughs> button mushrooms. Thanks, Ariel. 
They're, they're the kind that you buy in the store that are sliced already? They have white oh. kind, they have, uh, they have all kinds of sliced mushrooms at the store. Well, there's yeah, only they one have kind the, of They have cremini kinds? Yeah, they have cremini. I only saw one shiitake. kind. Shiitake. Shiitake. Uh, mini, uh, not mini bell peppers, mini... What are the giant ones? That kind oh, are you talking about portobello? Yeah, they have mini portobellos. Which is just cremini, just so you know. Oh. What's a cremini? Mushroom. Portobello? Mini portobello. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Apparently. Okay, uh, Trojan Zombies would like to know what's in the other two pots. Oh. You can just tell them. It's a secret. I have uh, beef broth and water boiling for the... The pasta. Pasta. Yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> What'd you just dump in there? Some of the garlic that I forgot to put in there. Well, Make sure you talk louder when you're back there. Yeah. Okay. So we're still sautéing. About how long you think that's going to take, Chef? Um, I didn't have the pan on too hot, so it's probably gonna. It probably would take about five minutes. Uh, Trojan zombies. Jessica started working in the culinary arts when she was around sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Well, no, technically, or I mean, taking they they want to know what when you entered in the culinary arts. So you started taking uh, cooking at school. Yeah. So yeah, I I was uh, sixteen. I started in Pro Start Foods. Uh, my at senior year of high school. My senior year of high school, I took a whole bunch of uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, field technical field related. Uh, courses, like for jobs. Uh, for instance, I took video productions. I took Pro Start Foods. I took Auto Shop. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> you were just sort of trying to see what you liked. Yeah, I was just trying to see what I liked. And out of all of them that I did, I even did database SQL. <laughs> I forgot that. I failed that class so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Now that'd be up my alley, but not yours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then after that, if you, as soon as you graduated high school, you joined the Coast Guard. Yeah. And in the Coast Guard, you went to what they call A school for cooking. So you had great training in the Coast Guard. And you graduated A school in Petaluma, California at the Coast Guard and you went to work at, um, you went to good work in uh, Traverse City, Michigan and for the Coast Guard. Yep. Yeah. And, and the Coast Guard, Jessica, what was the maximum number of people you ever cooked for? 3,000. Holy heck! 3,000? Yeah. That was in Coast Guard A school. Imagine me not really having had a job or anything. Uh, just starting out, they're like, all right, you're in charge of the griddle. You gotta do all of these omelets and all of these eggs and, and French toast and do them to order for 3,000 people. What? I froze <laughs> so hard on my first day. Oh my gosh, I was just like, uh, uh Denver? Oh no, no, this no. is where the Denver omelette problem comes from. <laughs> yeah. I was like, uh, what do you think is a Denver omelette? I don't know. She's got a Denver omelette block. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. It's a big deal. That's really funny. <laughs> yeah, the Coast Guard does patrol the Great Lakes. Uh, they, they mainly do search and rescue there. Which is very deceiving because it's Coast Guard, but I guess that's a coast. Well, yeah, they also the patrol the rivers, too. Yeah, yeah. Like the Columbia River and uh, other large rivers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what are you doing now with the meat there? All right, we are going to... Our meat was already... Uh, sliced. Sliced. Thank you, Safeway. Thank you, Safeway. <laughs> what kind of meat is it? It's it was a sirloin. Kind of big. Yeah, I, it's supposed um, to be much thinner than that, and unfortunately it is not. And that took like 15 minutes for them to run through a machine, so I'm, I'm a little bummed. Yeah. I think the kid that did it was very uh, new. That's really big. Yeah, show them how big it is when you're talking about big here. And okay. how big do you want it? No, th this is the camera down here. 
Wait. Ah! There you go. Yeah, this is this is way too big. Um, you can't really tell from my hands because I have super tiny hands, but it's huge. Here, you can tell by my six-inch knife how big it is. Right there. So we just want to cut that in half. And how can we can we make it thinner? Because unfortunately, that meat is not going to cook as well. Because it's mm. so thick. Because it's too thick, and um, it's going to be. Tough. I would have to get out my fillet knife, and oh, I would have never to. Never mind then. But what I can do is I could uh, cut it into strips. There you go. Let's do that. Okay. So, you're so gonna... normally with speed stroganoff, do you have like really, really, really thin, like big pieces, or what? You have just thin well, pieces. This is, this is actually a pretty good size right here. It's a what's called mm -hmm. a batonne in a bat batonne cut which is just a uh, quarter inch by a quarter inch by a quarter inch or no I'm sorry quarter inch by a quarter inch by two inch <laughs> they used to make you practice that didn't they yes they did and you had to actually measure and they would measure and it was crazy oh yeah I remember you you, you really stressed out about that in culinary school I did <laughs> you seem Thanks very good that. at it now go ahead go back why don't you um, go ahead and do that, Ariel? Okay. All right, <laughs> slice it, slice it up there, Ariel. Steak is good. Look at this one. Or ice cube. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh my, that's just one huge oh giant my. piece. <laughs> so. I, for some reason, your guys are not in the camera anymore, guys. What do you mean? I can't make it go down anymore. I had it. Ariel, right, pull your, your. Pull that backwards towards you. There you go. That's much better. Am I doing this so, right? I know. No. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's what I did okay. wrong. All right. So you're going to want to cut it like into roughly two inch okay. thingies. Say roughly. Why? Because. Because we want it two inches Oh, because you want to do the long part. And gotcha. then I turn it that way. Yeah. Yeah. And make sure you're cutting against the grain and not with the grain. So for Why? instance, um, because otherwise your meat will get really tough. I'm not 100% sure why that is, but it's science. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, you're just avoiding, okay. <laughs> All right. It being tough. And then you need to slice it kind of at a diagonal, yeah? Yeah, just just a slight diagonal. Okay. Like so. Okay, there, there you go. go. Because you want it really thin and small so that it cooks very quickly. Because otherwise your meat's going to be tough as nails. And uh, Trojan Zombies, uh, yes, she's been screamed at by a chef, haven't you, Jessica? Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> I have two! <laughs> by that one. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Soggy Doggy says, always against or it seems thready. So against the grain, I think, is what you mean? Yeah. Or it seems thready. Kranitz says, this is how you make Mongolian beef. It breaks up the connective tissue. All right, good All to right. know. Thanks, Kranitz. Thanks, Soggy Doggy. Seems we have a couple of other chefs amongst us. All right. <laughs> You're doing good. Um, Jessica, are our vegetables like getting like... They're uh, getting caramelized. Yeah. What? It's good. Okay. Caramelization is good. Well, yeah. I like... Uh, all right. <laughs> Go ahead. I think her pieces are a little big. No. No? No, no. You gotta turn that real. You're gonna make that really tough. Oh, sorry. It's okay. That's too late for that one. Yeah. That's all right. Well, we'll That's how I cook. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> too late to fix that. <laughs> well, later, after we're done with this, um, I happen to have an orange in my fridge. I can supreme that. Oh! Yeah. Which Ariel is a, can show off her supreming technique. Which That's is something I'm really proud I managed to teach her. <laughs> <laughs> Manage the teacher. <laughs> Your compliments. They're so yeah, flattering. That's nice. That's really nice. Well, she's a great cook on her own now. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Trojan Zombie says scream at her for cutting it wrong. <laughs> oh, 
No. I feel it with her eyes. Yeah. I know what look she's giving me. <laughs> it's cool. She's we don't want to hurt everybody's ears. Plus, Jessica doesn't really scream.